Okay, so the next piece we're going to make is this holder piece. I'm going to make that little piece that fits inside the piece that we just did. I'm going to attach that and make that all one piece. I'm going to make a circle here. It's probably about 60, 70 millimeters in diameter with a 50 internal diameter, something like that. So let's have a go. So we're going to do a new body. And we're going to do a sketch. We can go on the XY plane. And we're going to go to the middle. When I go to the middle, if you look down here, it's gone 20.94 nanometers, micrometers. It's gone to micrometers, not nanometers. It's gone to micrometers. So I want to zoom this out because that's not great. So I want to go out to something like that. Then I can pop my circle on. And we'll make our circle about that size. And the way this is set up, uh, it's like a ring. So we'll just go with that for now. Give that some dimensions. So we'll call the inner ring 60. Call the outer ring 80. Something like that. Close that. Pad that. There's the ring shape. Now, just looking at it, what we're actually going to do is we are going to go into this one and we'll move the dimension first so we can see what we're doing. We're going to actually make that. Let's make it 30. You'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. So, if I make it 30 as a 2, no, 30 is too small. I want to make it 50 so the mic can fit in it. So the mic, I'm assuming the mic's sort of around 50 in diameter. And then what I want to do is do a cutout in here. So, I'm going to do another sketch. It's also going to be on the XY plane. Okay, turn on my model. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to freehand something in here. Sectional view again. Going to. I'm going to make that horizontal right now. I'm going to give this a dimension here. So that's eight. I'm going to make that six, I think. And then I'm going to take my radius tool, go in here, and go in here. And I'm just going to zoom in. Say that one and that one are equal. And the dimension is going to be three. And there we have our piece that we're going to cut out. And then I want to just position it. Oh, that piece apparently is not attached to that piece, which is kind of weird. Strength, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to drag this down here. Oh, wow, all my parts have come loose. That's weird. It's not constrained there, but it won't move. Why is that? Close that and delete that sketch. Let's do that sketch again. So I'm going to go in that XY plane. 
turn on the model again. And I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to draw this. Turn this on. Draw this, this, and this. And then this, and this. And then I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to draw this, this. And I'm going to attach it to that center point. Oh. That did it weirdly as well. So I'm going to get rid of that one. That wasn't the point that I wanted attached. On this point to be attached to that line. That's better. And then I should be able to move this down. And let's say that one, that one, and that one are all horizontally together. So I just have a full radius. Now I can slide that down. And I'm going to make a dimension that goes from there to the center of that radius. We're going to call that 34. Slide that over there on the way. Give this a dimension of 6. And we're going to give this a length of 16. And we'll say OK. And then we're going to create cut out comes through there. Say OK. And then all we'll do is we'll take that cut out and we'll make that a polar pattern. And we can put in as many of these as we want to put in. I think something like that might do it. Maybe one more. It's got a neat number. How about 12 like that? So now we've got a shape like that. And then what we want to do is we, we want to leave um, like a piece sticking up here. So I'm going to take another sketch, same plane, turn my model back on so I can see what I'm doing. Take a circle, come off from here. I think I want to go here, another circle. I'll go here and we'll just give that some dimensions. Then we'll just say OK. Flip that around so I can see. I'm going to cut out very fast. Probably five mils deep enough. And there we have that kind of weird shape that they have where they have some kind of holder connected to it. So we'll just go with that. We can radius it later, but for now I think that's good enough. And then I want to attach a stalk on there. So let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to do another sketch. It's going to be in this plane again. So OK. Turn on my part again. Did not mean that. Meant that. Meant that. There we go. And then I'm just going to do it circular. I think I'll just do it here somewhere. There, so you can see what we're doing, and we're going to give that dimension Maybe 10. That looks as good as we 
can do it. Here maybe, and now we just want to get a dimension that goes from the center point out. Can do it that way. I'll call it thirty-three point five, and then we want distance out. We'll just call that 8.75, seems like a good number. And then we'll say close, and then we're going to pad that. And if we take a look here, you can see our pad is going all the way through. That's not what we want. Let's make our pad taller. Offset our sketch. So let's go to our sketch. It's pad sketch. It's attachment. It's position. Z position of five. And then that should drop that pad down. Yep. So you can't see it from from this side. It's actually coincident with that. That'll do nicely. We want to go either side of that. So I think what we're going to need to do is to draw a plane in there. Let's put a new plane in. It should be on this face. Yep. And then we can say OK. And then we're going to offset this plane in its Z direction this way like this first enough for government work um, now we're gonna say we're gonna do a sketch we're gonna do it on that datum plane say okay turn on my part again And we're going to use this same technique where we go to a sectional view. We're going to go from here to here, down here, across here, up here, out here, down, across, up. All good. Get rid of that. Come in here. We're going to make this one and this one are going to be horizontal. Those are all horizontal. We're going to zoom in there a little bit. We're going to go with that one, that one, and that line. We're going to make those symmetrical. We are going to make this one and this one around that same x or y axis. We're going to make those symmetrical. Going to grab the old guy at the bottom. He only needs to be 5 mil because he's going to fit inside that other one. I'm, and I'm not doing any clearance on this. I'm just going to do it the same size because, again, we're not making this. And that line there. Four. And then we're on this line, say fifty. And then we're gonna do this height. Oh, let's do that again. Pick somewhere else. That one to that one. We're gonna make that. Six. There you go. That's close enough for government work. And then I need to give this a dimension. 
and that can be 37 because it really doesn't matter. And then we're going to close that sketch and we're going to turn off our plane as well because we don't need to see that anymore. And then with the sketch, we are going to pick a pocket. We're going to smudge it to plane and we're going to say to rule. And that gives us our little piece there. And then the last thing we're going to do with that. I'm going to do another sketch. It's going to be on this plane. No, wait. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Now I do need a... I could do it on that face if I was brave, but <laughs> I'm not. So we're going to do a Dayton plane here. And actually, to be fair, my... Um, if I sell my dating planes on a face, I've got the same problem. So, in all honesty, I could have just set it up on that face and risked the same problem, the topological naming problem, our favorite friend. So that's the one we want there. And we're going to say a new sketch. Because I have that date and face selected, it will automatically go on that date and face. And then I'll turn my part back on. Put this in. Stick a hole in that guy. Go to that view. Give this a dimension. Six mil, of course, is our whole dimension. And then I think we want to give it a dimension from here to here. And we'll call that 33 is probably the right amount. Wait, let's zoom in. Nope, 33.5. There it is. And then we're going to give a dimension from here to here. And honestly, that could be 23, maybe. Push out to the end. Let's make it 22.5. This don't like it being quite so close to the end. So we'll close that. And we're going to call that. Say through all symmetrical. Say okay. Turn off that date and plane. Done deal. So now we have that little piece as well. We are going to rename it. We're going to call it. Mic holder body. All right, and we're going to control S and close all that up, and we can turn that one off. So let's review. We have this part made, something like this part, anyway, not 100% on that part. We have this part made, we have this part made. We have this part made, this part made. So now we need to do is let's see if we got a better image of this. We don't want to make this assembly here. This thing has wings on it. I think it's a pressed piece. So I'm going to make that out one piece and I'll just do something that simulates those wings. It's got two holes, comes off flat, up flat about an angle it's got to be at least 10 wide we made a hole in the back 15 so we got to put a 15 piece on the back there so let's have a go at that so we're going to do a new body don't forget to do the new body which I did last time and then I had to mess around 
we don't want to do that. Messing around is not fun. So we're going to move this over. It's going to be so the shape is something like this. It goes up here. Yeah, this way. This way. It goes down here, cuts back in here, and then goes this way. That's something like the shape. And I'm going to guess that this is probably not the right dimensions, but let's have a look what we got. Yeah, I'm going to say that should be about 50. And I'm going to say... I don't know, this one and this one could probably be coincident. I don't think it matters. And this one here, let's get that 50 out of the way. Give that height, I'll call that 24. Keep not selecting the right thing. And we'll give this a height, I'll call that 45. Just for our numbers. And we'll give the back part height. Call that 55 around numbers. Give this an angle. Call that 75. And we'll make this and this parallel. Oh, let's control Z that. Didn't like it. Didn't like being parallel that way. Let's try that again. That one and that one. And we'll go into parallel constraint. It hates that, so I'm not going to do it that way. So far. Why is it doing that? Maybe because I have got this. Let's lock this. There we go. Because I was basically trying to lock it twice. So 97, we can go with that. All right. And then we're going to close that. We're going to pad it. And for this, we want to go wide enough. We're going to go symmetrical. And we want to go wide enough that we got our. 10 millimeter hole and our wings sticking out there. Sixty. Sixty is too wide. Let's go forty. I'm just guessing right now. So it goes this way. Now I want to do another sketch. I want to do it in this plane. Say so, okay, turn my model back on. Get us back in the middle. Quick look where we are. Okay, so we're in the bottom, which means we want a hole that goes through here. That should be a 15. And that looks okay there, so we'll just stop that and we'll pocket. We're going to say through all. Spin that over that way. Yep, it went right through the back. So that's exactly what we want. And then we need this to be a hole through here. So we're going to say OK with that. We're going to draw another sketch. Say OK. Turn the model back on. Get back in the middle. Now I just want to go out with a piece that goes out this way. Again, I'm not worrying about clearances.
30, it doesn't really matter. As long as it cuts all the way through there. So we're going to close that. And we are going to pocket. We're going to say through all. And that cuts us out that middle piece so we can drop our bars into there. And then this is the wing part we're going to do next. So we're going to go this way and sketch. Say OK. Get me back in the middle. Turn my part back on. So a quick look which way up we are. OK, that's good. And then this piece is going to wrap around here. So I'm just going to sketch it freehand to start with. So I want to come in from here, maybe go in here, come along here, drop that, drop that down to here. I want to do, I'm going to do another one. It goes from here down to. Now up to here, back over here, down here, go this way, to here, drop in here the same way, come up here, and that looks good. Then I want to make this and this aligned. And then I want to go over one of these. I'm going to go over here and here and come out. Or come out to here. Why? Why did I do that? For some reason it connects the wrong bit. So let's all look here. Let's get rid of that piece. And do that one and that one. Coincident. And then bring those lines back out to where it's supposed to be. Slide that back along here. Hmm. I don't have that being there. I see what it is. That one and that one has to be vertical. And then we can just move it back that way. And then we want to just go higher. And then we want this one and this one to be vertically aligned. And we want this one and this one to be equal. And we want this line to be vertical. And let's have a look here. We want this one to go up here, so we want this. Oh, why don't I go this? Oh, this point, this point, symmetrical around that line. There we go. And then you want that length, doesn't matter what that is. You want that length, doesn't matter what it is. We want this length, it doesn't matter what it is. We're going to make this one and this one equal. And finally, we are going to say this one and this one. Come out dimension 34. Still have some. Oh, it's going to be this length. That dimension. Got that 41. Put that on top of that. This one and this one are equal. Radius 
So we want that radius. Hmm. this to this to be dimensioned quite 66 say close say pocket through all there's our outside shape say okay we're going to go back to that sketch Model. Pocket turned off. There you go. And then we're just going to draw freehand from here down here, I think. Make those parallel. Make those symmetrical. Okay, that's a dimension. Okay, that's a dimension. Just parallel, just to be sure. We'll get that dimension. Nope, I need that dimension because we got a parallelism. So all we need is a dimension from there to there, I think. There you go. And then close that sketch. And now we have our winged piece. Now I need some holes in it, and then we should be good to go. Now we need a couple of holes in there. I'm going to put a couple of holes in this part as well. So let's do that. I'm going to rename this first. We're going to rename it. We'll call it. Um, what do we call this one? We're going to call it lower connector body. You can call these things whatever you want as long as you remember what they are because you're going to import them somewhere or you're going to use them in a, an assembly. So you want to make sure that you're, you're using something that you kind of know what it is. So I'm going to draw some holes, my model back on, and I just want a couple of holes through here, that's where we're going to hold our spring, I'll pop that through there, give that a dimension, we'll go with that 6mm hole, I'll just move it here a little bit and then we'll give it some dimensions from here to the center of the hole
And so what we're going to do is we will pop this hole through back here. We are going to close that. We will create pocket and it's symmetrical. We're going to say through all. And OK, so those are the holes that the spring fits into. And if we have another quick look here on our microphone stand, let me see if I got a better view of that. Mm -hmm. Yep, so there, if we look at that one, we just need two holes in it, our caddy corner and a piece that comes down through the C-clamp. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to do another sketch. I'm going to do it on this XY plane again. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to turn my model back on. And then I'm going to draw my two holes here. I think one is going to be around here somewhere. I'm going to hit this sectional view so I can see those holes. The other one is going to be around here somewhere. Those holes are going to once again be equal and six millimeters in diameter. And I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. To there. I'm just going to roughly place these so I can see where they fit. Looks like I have, so you can see that I can't move that hole over this way. And the reason is this constraint here. So I have a little constraint that says this is coincident with a line. So I'm going to change that. Go over here. That's the constraint right there. I'm just going to delete that. And then I'm going to pull this over. And I'm going to pull this over here. And I think, let's have a quick look at the picture again. If we look there, they're sort of caddy cornered, but I think they're 28 apart. So let's do it that way. So I think the distance between here and here is that 28 millimeter distance and then I think as far as this way is concerned I don't know that there is a I don't know what that dimension is but I'm going to make it I think we'll go to 35 for now when we assemble it, if it doesn't look right, we can always move it a bit. So now this whole thing will move around as one piece because we've got a couple of dimensions tied up. And then what we want to do is tie this one in that direction. And we'll tie this one in this direction. And now they are fully constrained. We'll close that. We're going to do another pocket. We're going to do it symmetrical. And we're going to say through all. And there are my holes. And I don't like that one being there. So I'm going to have to change that. I think I'm going to move it all a little bit. So we're going to say OK. We'll go back into our sketch. And it's this one here that's a problem. I've got to go back in here, turn this part back on. It's the pocket that's gone off, so I'm just going to turn that one on and go into my sectional view, and you can see my problem there is this dimension here. And probably still not what we need. I think we'll make that a little bit bigger. Hmm. Like that. 
has to come over just a little bit more. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to make this even bigger. And maybe we can modify this one. Actually, I think that needs to be more than that because we want to be able to shift that part around. So let's go with that. I think that will work for now. Close that. And as a whole, and I think if I look at that, I think I have some room to move this back over here a little bit if I wanted to miss that bend there. But I, I think we're okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live with that. So now I want a piece that comes off here and drops down. And this is how it look. I see on the back here that there's actually a cutout there. So let me just have a look at that. There's actually a cutout this way. So let's draw that. And go with that plane again. And turn my model back on. And then I'm just going to draw a square. That'll be fine. We'll go back into that sectional view. We'll give that a dimension. That dimension. You can see throughout this thing, I'm just building up as I go. I don't, I'm not 100% sure what I'm actually going to end up with because I'm designing as I go or sort of imitating as I go. And I can see that that's too far over now. So I'm going to change that. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go back to my sketch. So again, I'm going to turn on the prior pocket so I can see it. And I think the problem I've got here is this size here should be maybe a bit further over. And I'll close that. And that looks a bit better. I think we'll go with that. So that is going to be my piece that holds that down. I have a hole that comes through here. And if I just create a rod that goes in there, I think I'll be fine. So let's, we'll just do that as a separate part. So let's close that part. Let's turn that part off. So next we're going to make this C-clamp. We'll go ahead and just do that. I'm not going to put all the fancy chamfers and things on it. We'll do that once it's modeled. So we'll go with a new body and a new sketch. Go on the XY plane, doesn't really matter for this one. So move that down, put it back that way. Take this. Uh, this drawing tool that I use is the polyline. I like it because I can just rough something out like this. Go this way, this way, up here. Something like that. And then once I've got things sort of roughed out, I pull them around, make them to the size that I want. I think this one actually is not vertical, which 
that you buy the picture it looked like it's something like that and then we'll just give that some dimensions I think the throat is important I believe that was more like 60 millimeters and so I think this was all maybe like this so I'll just go with those dimensions 150 100 Let me make those equal give it a dimension say 25 that's pretty thick actually but we'll go with it and then give this an angle call that 98 side call this one oh you're gonna love that cancel that one just go the dimension from there to there it's not very important we'll say 16 and so we have that we have that if I have that 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 height should already be set. One degree of freedom, which is we have it tied there, but we don't have it tied this way. That's my one degree of freedom. I call it 13, just for our number's sake. Close that. Pad that. We'll do it symmetrical. And it's going to be 28. Let's go with 30. Something like that. And then we know we want to go with a hole that goes through the bottom part only. Let's turn that back on. That guy down Hold on a sec. So the hole is gonna go somewhere there. Let's turn that on. Let's go back into this view. Hit that and that and do that. I'll give this one a dimension. I think there's going to be like an 8 millimeter thread through there. Hmm. Let's go with 12. Maybe let's go with 15. This says a decent size because that's how big the screw is going to be. Close that. That a pocket. We'll go through all. No, through first. Have a look. Through first. Where is my hole? I'm too face. Hmm. Cancel that. Through my sketches. Ah. My sketch is way high in the area. So I want to go through all and reversed. There we go. Now I'll go all the way through there. And then we can put a thread in there if we want to. Do you remember how we do the threads? We just basically make a tap, drop the tap in the hole. And that'll make the thread. Um, 
we can put some chamfers on here. Let's do a chamfer. I think that has got a big chamfer on it. Something like that. edge okay there we go and now I think we just want to hold through there Fifteen as well. Close that. And put that through symmetrical through all. And that goes all the way through. So just check it there because it might be all close to that edge. No, I think it's okay. I think that's pretty close to that. That's a little boss there, so we could put that in if you wanted to. So we're going to create a little boss. We could do that. Let's just do this. We go here. Say OK. Turn on my model. Come back to the middle. And my boss is on the other side, but that's okay. We'll do it. We can do it here, and then we'll move it. So to do that, we're just going to take that piece out of there, and we're going to take this guy. We're going to make it a circle that runs to there. Say, actually, that's pretty good. Hit that. Call that 26. And I'll give this a dimension. It doesn't matter at all, so we're just going to accept whatever it comes up with. Clicking the wrong button. It's not a button. Let's go with that dimension. These dimensions, this is just a, an outside piece to cut it off, so it doesn't it really doesn't matter what dimension that is. I'll just make that symmetrical. Now we'll close that, and now we go look where that is. Let's just go into that sketch, sketch its attachment, and we're going to move it this way. Yeah. That looks close enough for government work. We will go pocket and we'll say through all. And there's our little boss. And we'll say OK. And now that piece is done. We're going to rename it. Call it. C clamp body and we're done. So then the next piece we'll do the screw. That's gonna be a 15 mil screw now because I made that 15 mil hole. And we'll just approximate something for that. So let's go. So we're gonna do another sketch. Doesn't matter what plane we do it on. And we are going to do, let's do a revolve. So we're going to come off here, go down here. It's going to go there. It's going to come out a little bit, drop down, come over to 
there and then close that up. And then we're going to give this some dimensions. I don't know how long that should be. I'll say 90 millimeters. And then a in here. And that should be horizontal too. And it should be that. And this dimension here is going to be 7.5. And then this dimension here, actually let's do this dimension here, we'll make that 10. And then we just give this a height. I think that's only going to be 15. And we're going to make that that coincident. Close that. Revolve. Say OK. Pop it in the middle. Oh, I didn't create a new body, so now I've actually created that piece inside of this body. So let's go back, create body. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> Don't even need that exploit plane. So there you go. It's going to be called rename screw body and then we're going to do another sketch we just can do it on this plane doesn't matter which one of those two upright planes we choose we're going to turn our part back on we're going to come back to the middle and we're going to draw Circle that's on that line. Just like that. Uh, dimension. Call that 10 millimeters. That's good enough. Give that a dimension this way. And there. We'll call that. Seven point five, and we're going to do a little cheat here instead of putting a hole in and then putting a post in there, we're just going to create a post because, again, it's only a representation, I'm not manufacturing this part, so we are going to pop it out this way, it's going to be symmetrical, and it's going to go out just until we think it's big enough it's plenty big enough it might be too big actually but that's okay and so quick look at our reference it's got a couple of balls on the end of it so we can we can create a couple of spheres and pop them on the ends if we wanted to and another one we're going to say is connected to this guy and then we're going to say it's connected to that guy
say OK. And there we have something like what we wanted. And then if we want to put a screw thread on here, all we need to do is to go into our fasteners workbench. You'll remember this from previously. And pop in here, we select a die. And then I'll go in here. We know this one should be M15. There's no M15, so we're going to go M14. Let's go M16, see what happens. And then we need to rotate it. That's on the wrong axis. So we're going to make that zero and make this one one. And then we're going to make that 90. That's good. We're going to make the length of this all the way down. Did we make that 90? I think we did. There we go. And actually, we want to just move that a little bit in our position. On the Z, we're going to move it down. Oh, away. Move it on the Z. Why? I clicked the wrong thing. So let me just go back. Now we're going to go Y. We're going to go until it just breaks off there a little bit. That's perfect. Now if we pop down the end here. I don't know how good an M15 is going to be. Or an M16 is going to be on a 15 diameter. So let's go down to 15 if we can. not oh, that's the wrong thing. Hold on. Back to 16. Let's go down to M14. There we go. So it's going to be a more aggressive thread. And then what we have to do is go back to our part design. This guy and so now we want to turn the threads on so we can actually see them. There's a the thread. I'm going to select that, hold down shift, sorry, select that, hold down control. Screw body, select that, select cut, and select OK. And there we have our screw. And it has a little piece that fits on the end of this thing. So, I don't know, we just do a revolve on the end, I guess. And pop that on there, let's do that. So, okay, turn back on our model. Pop it into the middle. And then just we'll just freehand something that looks... Yeah. 
something that looks appropriate. Probably close enough. I'll just go with these round these dimensions up. Six. We'll do an angle there. Seventy four. Do a height there. Five and we will do a dimension from that point up to that top point of whatever it happens to be. And that's okay. I'm going to zoom in here. We have a height there already. That width. Get that. So let's do one from there to there. And it is 25, we'll do there. Pop one of those up like that. Pop one of those down like that. Say close, say revolve. Uh, that's good enough. Close enough for government work. Again, that I think it'll be okay. I mean, it's an impossible thing to assemble actually like that. So you have to assemble it with this piece in and then add that afterwards after it's assembled. But we're not worried about the assembly because we're not making this thing. So I think that's good enough for representation. Turn on our clamp body. This actually fits over here. Yeah, it's fine. And then let's create a new body. We're going to call this pivot rod. And there's several ways we can do this, but I'm just going to do it with a sketch on the XY plane. I'm literally going to just draw a circle from there. I'm going to give that dimension. It's going to be 15 millimeters. I'm going to zoom in there. That's my 15 mil dimension. I'm going to close that. I'm going to pad that. And it needs to be. We'll say 75 mil long. And that will do that one too. So that's just a rod for the whole thing to pivot on. So let's have one more look at the picture. We have this piece, we have this piece, we have this, we have this piece, this piece, this piece, that, that screw. There's another screw that goes in the back here, but I'm not going to do those screws. I think I'm just going to put it in place. So I think we have all the parts that we need. Um, to be able to create an assembly. So let's have a look here. Let's turn on some of our parts. That's the rod body. That's the triangle piece. That's the other shape piece. That's my mic clip body. That's my mic holder. My C clamp. My screw that goes through my C clamp. The base part. And a pivot. And it really doesn't matter how they're laid out. You can see all the pieces there. All we need to do is assemble them and we will be in great shape. So thanks for watching this one. In the next one of course we're going to assemble everything. I'm going to do that in assembly four I think to show you how to do it. Now I'll probably um, do it in blender as well just so I can render it and show you what it looks like when it's all rendered. I don't think it's going to take too long to do the assembly once we figure out how we want to assemble the parts, put them all in. 
And of course, we only made one piece of the of each of the components. So if we need multiples, we just put multiple uh, copies of that same component in. So we'll do that in the next one. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Give us a like on this video and take a look at our Patreon. Thanks.